My name is Joel, uh, Joel Priest. Uh, I work for the Pine River Times newspaper in Bayfield, Colorado, and also the Southern Ute Drum newspaper in Ignacio, Colorado. And I am receiving the 2018 Colorado Athletic Directors Association Media Representative of the Year Award. I'm a sports writer and photographer, primarily covering the high school, uh, high school realm as my primary beat. It's kind of tough to tell which aspect of my uh, career I prefer, I prefer the most. Uh, I really get an enjoyment out of turning the microphone on and then welcoming everybody to a big game or even a small game. I'll make it sound like a big game. Uh, this way everybody gets the most bang for their buck. The players sometimes tend to play a little bit harder perhaps uh, when the intensity is cranked up. And then they know that after the game is over, win, lose, or draw, I'll be there to talk to them about the game afterwards. And even during the game, I'll try to hold the mic in one hand, camera in the other one, and try to get some decent action shots uh, to represent the contest as well. Um, so I think sometimes they all blur, the aspects all blur together. Whether I start an evening on the microphone and progress into uh, taking a photograph and then jotting some notes down for a story afterwards, and then of course after it's all over, go back by the locker rooms or something and talk to some players and coaches. Other times it starts uh, kind of more at the writing side of it, especially if I'm in, in another town where I don't have to worry about the, the public address microphone. So, kind of works uh, both ways really, but um, if I had to try to pick a favorite, I would, boy, I would really have to think about that one a lot longer <laughs> because it is, it's a toss up really on any given day of the week. I could really feel like more in the mode to speak or to write, especially if I've got a good concept in my mind about these two teams get, don't get along with each other. Um, I can really write a great rivalry angle on this or kind of really depends on the moment, uh, spur of the moment, uh, how I would feel about that. This award uh, would not be possible, first of all, without my family. Uh, uh, my father, Frank, uh, my mother, Carol, uh, my stepfather, Bill, my sister Micah, or I mean my brother Micah, my sister Rachel, um, uh, my grandparents, uh, both of them, have, all of whom have passed on now, but one of whom, uh, my grandmother on my mother's side was just a diehard newspaper reader. She would cut out the sports sections of the Denver Post and the Rocky Mountain News. And also she still had her subscription to the Ranchland News, which is based out of uh, Calhan, uh, northeast of Colorado Springs. Um, and she would cut everything out that she thought might be relevant to how I would cover Bayfield High School, Ignacio High School, Durango High School, Pagosa Springs High School, Cortez, uh, Montezuma Cortez High School. Uh, she would mail me just monthly packets that sometimes would be the better part of an inch thick. Just nothing but cut out articles for me to sift through because she knows I probably didn't see them yet. Um, so without that, that backing and that motivation, um, it would be tough to be in this position today. Um, I'd also really like to thank uh, all the athletic directors from the Inner Mountain League, which is a uh, Colorado High School Activities Association Class 3A uh, circuit. So many names and so little time, but it's an honor to know every one of them.